So what if I told you there's one little experiment you could do for 90 days and your entire life would change? And I'm talking about holistic success, right? This is the essence of my kind of master of the day philosophy that I share in my book, which is that there's one thing or one universal principle, a truth you can apply to all aspects of life and it'll get better. Well, in this video, this is more of a personal development challenge, but in this video, we're going to be tackling one little experiment you should do and try that will definitely change your life. What's up, guys? Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. So, just like in my book, this is nothing new. Right, nothing sexy, no new detox, no cleanse BS. It's called the blame game. Right? And it's funny, the hundreds of people I've coached personally, one on one, the easily ten thousand plus emails I've answered, and all of the kind of comments I get collectively, one of the things I notice the most that poisons your results more than anything is blame. Right? Blame by default will deflate any ambition you have. It'll kill action. It'll cause procrastination. It's the one thing that will sabotage you more than anything. Like, let's say you're dating somebody and you're like, you're the male and you're like, my girlfriend never wants to do anything fun, never wants to have sex, always waking me up early, never, like, blah, 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 blah. Cool. That's great. But then what are you going to do about it? Right? Blame more than anything is an emotional state where you can't grow at all. You can't change anything. Okay, that may be true with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whoever, but what are you going to do about it, right? That may be true, but what are you going to do about it? So the big thing with blame is that it immediately shifts you from a place of, I control this, I can change this, I'm going to do something about this to, I'm a victim, I'm powerless, I'm, God is like the ant bully and I'm the ant, right? It could be true in your fitness too. Maybe it's true that your mom was always overweight and you have her same genetics, That may be true. It may be true that you live in a house where there's no healthy food. That may be true. It may be true you don't make enough money to really eat healthy organic food. That may be a fact. But guess what? You want to blame your mom? You want to blame the economy? You want to blame your job? You want to blame... You can blame all of them. But that's not going to help you. Because you still have to do something. You still have to figure out what you're going to change. What you're going to do differently. What action you're going to take. Now you could be a recent college graduate too. And you could say, oh, the economy sucks. There's no good jobs. I don't have the credentials required. My boss is an a-hole. All of these things you could blame. And they may all be true. But you're going to find plenty of successful people that had all those barriers and they succeeded nonetheless. But the big thing is that blame removes any power you have to change. When you blame, you're immediately in the victimized position rather than thinking, okay, I don't have the credentials, how can I get the job without the credentials? My boss is an a-hole, okay, can't you still do great work or can't you find another job? I'm maybe not that skilled at my job, that's why I don't get paid a lot. Great, that's a fact, what are you going to do about it, right? When you take yourself from the, oh, life is so hard, the economy, blah, 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 those all may be true, and yet they don't help you, because you still have to do something. Alright, so the last one in this blame game is happiness. You know, it's funny, I live in Portland, probably one of the damn gloomiest places I've ever lived in my life, and people just, like, they blame all of their, the shit in their life on the weather, as if the weather is the biggest factor affecting your happiness. It's not, am I happy? Do I love my work? It's not, am I in a good relationship? It's not, do I live a life that inspires me? It's not, do I wake up and I look forward to my schedule? The weather. Like, the weather, is that really the biggest factor affecting your happiness? I would say no. And that's just a very easy thing to blame because you can't control it. And then it just puts you again into the victim position and there still is no action step set forward for what you're going to do to actually improve your life. So if there's one trait I notice more than anything, it's being very aware of the blame game which comes up with whatever story you tell yourself. Like it's why the narrative, the story we tell ourselves is half of my book because overwhelmingly weight loss is a psychological battle and it's just like life. Everything is about psychology because the story you tell yourself is more real than reality. So if you tell yourself that the weather is the reason why you're having XYZ depression and lack of success and whatever unhappiness, then it's real, even if it's a lame story. So my challenge to you today is try going 90 days and shifting from blame 
to saying, okay, those may be facts, but this is what I'm going to do with my habits instead. So I hope that helps a little bit more intense, more of a rant there, but it's something that had to be said. Before you go, leave a comment there below. And I want to know for you though, what do you blame the most for your lack of success in whatever aspect of life you're working on? All right, guys. So I hope that video helped. Now, before you go, the best way to stay in touch is to get my free seven day weight loss and personal development challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. It's also in the description box right there below. You can also check out my videos right here that are related and the most recent upload. 